Hello, welcome back to Chepstow. I'm delighted to be joined by Gina Mangan. Gina, this season so far, especially the last month or so, it's just been winner after winner. The momentum's been ex brilliant so far. The momentum's been really good, yeah. Not what I'm used to, but then so I'm trying, trying to get used to it. It won't last forever, but you've got to make the most of it. And going back to a couple of weeks ago at Haydock with Island Brave in the Old Borough Cup, back to back Old Borough Cups for Island Brave. But for you to get that big win on ITV, Heather Main put a lot of trust in you, must have been a superb feeling. She really did. I was very privileged to get the ride in the first place to be trusted with a, with a nice horse like that. Um, seeing a replay of his win in his last year was vital to what I probably did in the race. Um, and obviously just a lovely horse to get the ride on. Been declared for Group 2 today, but it's not going to happen, what with the rain coming up at Doncaster and all that. But, uh, would be nice to get back up on them at some stage. And looking back at the race itself, was there a point going down the back straight where you um, were up on the pace and it all of a sudden you both took off on the front end, you and another run on the front end? Was there a slight thought that you might have used up too much petrol too soon or did you always have enough in hand to, to repel all the challenges late on? Of course, yeah, I prepared myself for the worst really in, in the home straight, but but no, I, um, I wasn't going to get away with going that pace for that long. I knew something was going to come up and bother me at some stage and sure enough it was Holly. And I just decided not to forfeit the lead. I thought all this horse does is, is give more and more from the front end. So by by going too quick, I sacrificed that, you know. But it, it paid dividends in the end, and um, we got away with it. And sticking with Heaven Mangers give you a lot of good opportunities. Most notably in the Sunday series too, as well at Sandown. So you must be very grateful to her for giving these mounts on, on the big stage on ITV. Yeah, it's some trainers you just get lucky with, you know, that you maybe ride their horses better than others or, you know, whatever it might be, maybe you're just riding well at the time. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can keep the ball rolling. And going into the rest of the season now, you're down to £5, season's almost over. Just a quick reflection on the campaign, how would you have assessed this, this turf season for you so far? It got off to a slow, sticky start back in February with the totting up ban. Mm -hmm. That's well behind me now, yep. you know, and I hopefully learned from that and moved on and that's behind me. Um, but yeah, because I've changed what I've done riding, it's obviously paid off a little bit now. So hopefully that £3 claim won't be long, I'd say around the corner. And that's when I think I probably need to up my game a bit more and, and do better. And it's funny for today, you've got a couple of nice chances, one for Rod and also John O'Shea in the last couple of races. Yeah, the feature race, one for Rod. It's still a maiden, but it's not run bad races in defeat. Um, six furlongs seems to be a little bit on the sharp side for her, but she does her best work at the end. So all we'll be doing really is trying to stay in touch and pick up some prize money if not the win. Okay, perfect. That's wonderful. Yeah.